Hi everybody, this is Paul at Reliable POD and I wanted to introduce you to our pre-design section uh, which we've just launched uh, and made live through the app. We all know that when uh, you're new to um, uh, print on demand and you're building your store, sometimes creating designs can be a challenge. So what we're going to do over the next several months is uh, on a weekly basis, two or three times a week, we're going to release uh, pre-designs for personalization based around different uh, subjects or occasions, uh, whatever's coming up in the next several weeks so that people have got designs that they can load onto the website and what they can market directly to the customers. So in a couple of weeks, I think it's August the 8th, we've got International Cat Day. So we thought we'd do the first one based around cats. Um, now what we're doing with the products is we're not making them specifically for a day. We're trying to make the products evergreen because these uh, we're not keen unless it's a really big day like Valentine's Day and Mother's Day on creating designs just for that one-off special occasion uh, because when you build the traffic you lose all the traction coming in to these products just when it's for one day. So when I show you the designs uh, in a minute, you'll see that they're, they're, they're built for uh, basically uh, every week of the year. So uh, what I'll do is I'll show you first how easy it is to use the pre-designs and how fast they can be added to your store. So to get to pre-designs, you basically come, click on your My Products within the app. This tab's now live on the end, pre-designs. Uh, and we've got some products in here, but this is going to get a lot busier over the next few months. And what we've done today uh, is Sam has created three designs that are all personalized that can all be added to your store. Now, you quite literally don't have to do anything with these barring publish them to your store. And you can literally do this in seconds. So the first one i'll just publish this and show you how quick it can be and then i'll do the next one in a little more detail so we've got doormat we've got cats you can search by tags up here uh, and we're going to group these things as we go along by tag so if you want all the christmas designs you can find them as you can see down here they've all got christmas on but like i said just to show you how this one works first click on the three dots Add it to your store. Here's our demo store to click next. Here's all the mock ups you can turn off whichever ones you don't want. Click next. Add your title and add your keywords in there if you're doing keywords. And I've got some more information on keywords in a moment. We've just got a standard title in there. We'll let everybody work their own titles out. Click next. The collections. Then you've got the pricing. Uh, if you want to change the pricing, increase the pricing, whatever you can do, you increase it by a dollar amount, by a percentage or set a flat rate, you can do that there. And then just click add to store. Now I'm doing this live, so that will probably take a minute to get across to the store. Uh, and as that's going across, I'm going to add the next one. And again, I'll not talk during this. I'll just show you how fast you can add these to your store. Into pets.class. And that is going into the store. So what I'll do is I'll go across to the store now. I'll refresh. And I will do it by created newest first. And as you can see, they've just come into the store now. They're probably still generating mock-ups. If you click on them, you've got your description. Now, all the mock-ups are there. So you've got everything in the store. So if we take a quick look at that, what I'll do is I'll click on preview. So when you've clicked to view, you get your product here and you've got your sizes which are here and you basically click on personalize on your site you can upload your image 
so as you can see the image comes up the customer can move it make it smaller do whatever they need to do to position it where they want it that's about right then when they click on text they can put the name in here Tommy the cat and then if they do want to preview the design on the website if they click on preview what that will do is it will pop up here with all the mock-ups that are being generated there you go so the customer can see exactly what they're getting and then they just add that to the car on your site and that comes all the way through to us for production so that is literally how you can add uh, personalized products to your site i'll go back and just uh, take you so you can have a look at the other one so here again customer can upload the cat's face onto that one uh, and, and you've got well basically your products up and live the same works you can push these designs uh, all the way across to uh, Etsy I'll just show you how you do that now so let's select this one this is a mad cat click on add to store we'll then go for our demo Etsy store which is there click our way through again you can add your title here and add your tags here when you're doing Etsy just remember you've got 13 tags and they've all got to be under 20 characters and when you're creating your own title you can't have too many special characters in the top like I think you can only have one and uh, in the uh, title else it won't accept it click next personalization instructions so we can put enter your text here and we will add it to your design click there next whichever section you want to put it in on your etsy store here you've got a couple of different uh, uh, options I think it's floor mats you Americans call them floor mat no no it might be door mats door mat there we go door mat so you can either put them in the door mat section or you've also got pet feeding match which these are very good for so I think it's on the second one here you can add them into pet feeding placemat because they're great for putting bowls on so we'll drop one on there for now uh, we'll come into the next bit uh, select your shipping uh, these videos on the site how to set your shipping profiles up and click next reliable as your partner select that there's your door match you can change the prices here increase them by a percent etc and then just click that add to store so we'll go across to our Etsy store and we'll just refresh that oh and it's already a hook draft so it puts them across as draft now it's just dropping the uh, it'll be dropping the mock-ups in don't know if they'll all be in yet they're all just coming in it'll add the others as it goes on but you can go down here uh, just change whatever you need to change and add things to put it in the right groups there so that's literally how you uh, create uh, pre-designs based on uh, a certain subject um, from our store now one of the things that might be helpful for you I mean as we're looking at things we're trying to help you guys when it comes to uh, promoting these products so I've done some research regarding keywords for you which I'll show you here so I use a, a tool for Amazon research for keywords now there are dozens of different tools out there for searching uh, for what people type in for keywords I'm a great believer in this Amazon is the largest selling platform in the world 
So whatever they type on Amazon, they're likely to type in Etsy or eBay or whatever market platform that you're selling on. They don't suddenly, customers don't suddenly change the way they take type in a search term but depending on what platform they're in so you've got a couple of different things here you've got your keywords which is if you're selling on a platform like that you know you can put these keywords in uh, and these are the search volumes you know your broad search term uh, 75,000 for welcome mats front porch well funny doormat uh, and there's, there's lots more search time terms you can use, but you can see there's a significant amount of searches for the floor mats. Uh, and you can also search for sort of cat breeds as well. Uh, if you're doing this, I've just done a bit of research there and they're the top 10 um, USA cats that people like. So when, you, when you're working on a platform like Amazon or Etsy, people are going to search by keyword so you always want to be uh, trying to get your keywords placed and using those in your descriptions uh, so you can get found easier but when you go on to a platform uh, such as let's say facebook it's a different story people aren't searching by keywords you're looking for for groups uh, and you're looking for people that are interested in a product so just to show you uh, I mean, I'm not going to go into the depths of how to create Facebook ads or any of that. There's thousands of videos on YouTube for you to look at to do that. But keeping it rather simple here, if we just look, uh, let's take the number one uh, cat in the USA, the exotic short hair. If we go back on here, what I do to gauge interest in these things is I go into Facebook I do a simple search for whatever uh, the subject is, whether it's an occasion, an event, a team, a pet, whatever it is. And I look at the number of groups that come up. And you can see here, just exotic short hair cats. The first group that comes up, 20,000 members, 12,000, 15,000. You know that these people are absolutely passionate because you don't join these groups by mistake you join them because you're interested so when you come to do a facebook campaign you know that you can look for these subjects uh, within the interest groups and you're going to find them another way and not a lot of people do this but uh, i've done it many times over the years is i would join one of these groups i would contact the group owner and I would say to him, can I send you a sample uh, of what I'm offering so you can see the quality. And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to advertise that product in your group to your customers and do a deal with them. You know, pay them two dollars for every sale that's made from the group, etc. So you can see that you can you, you can certainly, you know, go and create very simple Facebook campaigns. I'm not into all this A and B group testing and everything else. I believe if the product's good, the interest is there, and you've got something that people want, if you put it in front of the right customer, there's an excellent chance that they're going to buy it. And just to show that, as we go through the next group, the Ragdoll Cat, which I've got to be fair, uh, I've not uh, ever heard of the Ragdoll Cat, but I mean, just look at this first group here. 37,000 members uh, I mean you, the interest in these is just phenomenal I'll just take you through another couple of these uh, what's this one British short hair ah, 65,000 members for that cat which again is phenomenal so you know that you're going to be able to create these Facebook uh, marketing campaigns and target these people keep your campaign simple aim it at a certain group uh, and just you know see where you can get to now the other thing as well is just remember this when we're here as well once you've seen these designs and got them this should give you some inspiration you know if you're going to try and target one of these uh, to the British short hair cat people you want to make sure that you've got a British short hair cat uh, in the design and what we're also going to do 
is we're going to show you how we create these designs as well so you can create your own uh, I'll just show you where they're going to be kept so if you come onto the reliable POD website and click now on the how to tutorials we've got how to create products here so what we're going to do I, and we've just started populating these new pages but every product page that's on the site will have uh, I'll just show you here on for instance the jewelry when you come onto the jewelry now we're creating new uh, videos on how to create designs for jewelry with personalization in the apps you can follow step by step then we've got videos on how to push the products to um, your Shopify store and how to create them in the app because there are two parts to doing uh, a design you've got to create the design firstly in whether you're using Canva or whether you're using Photoshop then once you've created that design you've then got to create the product in the app before you can push it to the store so we've got a lot of stuff going on in these we're going to be posting a lot more to the group over the next several months and uh, I hope that helps so any questions uh, just type them below uh, and we'll answer them and I hope that's very helpful and a few more days we'll be posting another video with another subject and some more free designs. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye bye.